So after a mammoth gap of five whole days from the last Big T20 tournament, we're all set to witness the next Big T20 tournament, the Vitality Blast. Huh? Huh? Just kidding. We're obviously building up to the T20 World Cup that starts on the 1st of June. But the Vitality Blast is really happening at the same time. Right, let's get straight to it. What's the format of the T20 World Cup? It begins with a group stage, one that has four groups, A, B, C and D, consisting of five teams each. The group stage ends with the top two teams from each group qualifying for the Super 8s, which is actually two groups of four teams each. So does the group stage really end? Anyway, the top two teams from each of the two groups make it to the semi-final, also known as, yes, the group stages have finally ended. And after all of this, India and Australia meet in a final where Pat Cummins silences the crowd. Uh, sorry, that's just the trauma of the 50 over World Cup creeping in right there. Now that we've got the format out of the way, let's talk about results. The one thought on everyone's mind is, the group stage is a foregone conclusion. But is it? I mean, we thought USA vs Bangladesh in a T20i series was a foregone conclusion. And we all know how that turned out. USA enter Group A with India, Pakistan, Ireland and Canada. So yes, for USA, this group may be a foregone conclusion. The one to watch out for though is Ireland. They managed to beat Pakistan in a T20i just a few weeks ago. Oh my god! Wow! Group B seems like the one in which the obvious contenders would make it through. So congratulations to Australia and England. Group C and D on the other hand can be called the groups of death. Afghanistan, New Zealand and West Indies will be hot favourites to make it through Group C. But remember, only two teams can go through. In Group D, Sri Lanka and South Africa are the favourites, but Netherlands could throw a spanner in the works. Oh and yes, Bangladesh are also part of this group. I'm sure all of this can be difficult to remember, so let's make it easy. The only thing you need to memorize about the group stage is that on the 9th of June, India and Pakistan face off in New York City. For our social media safety, we're making no predictions on the result of that one. Right, so who are the favourites to win the tournament? It's a World Cup, so Australia gets the first right of refusal of the trophy, obviously. England are the defending champions and two-time winners. Plus, they have the likes of Josh Butler, Phil Salt, Will Jax and a returning Jofra Archer. They have to be among the favourites with a squad like that. India are favourites because they have won this tournament just as recently as... 2007? Okay, what about other ICC trophies in the last decade? More importantly, this could be the last dance for Rohit Sharma and Virat Kohli in a T20 World Cup and that could make them channel their inner Michael Jordan. With Heinrich Klaassen and Christian Stubbs, South Africa are a tempting proposition. But this tournament has semi-finals, so we'll slot them in as dark horses. Now what about co-host West Indies? In the 2022 edition of the tournament, West Indies finished last in a group that had Ireland, Zimbabwe and Scotland. But these are home conditions and they are two-time champions. We list them as the underdogs everyone's rooting for. And a pro tip from me, Brandon King is a good pick for top scorer. Finally, time for the most exciting part of this World Cup, especially for audiences in the Indian subcontinent. With matches almost 12 hours apart, you can now wake up watching cricket and go to bed watching cricket.